Hey there Wastelanders, Vlad here, and this week I've got a lore-friendly camp build out in the Cranberry Bog. It is a military camp, and I'm happy to show it to you, so we'll jump right in. Alright guys, so here's the view of the camp from afar. I've built uh, in this little island out in the Cranberry Bog, which is right down the street from the ranger station, and also uh, in between the workbench, uh, the the capturable workshop out here in the Cranberry Bog. And um, this is the entrance. I really like this bridge that kind of uh, it serves as the uh, fortified entrance to the camp. And um, I really like also how those new um, fences that came out with the Chinese uh, camp uh, items, uh, how they really look and, and feel of the camp. This is uh, from the other side. You can see uh, that other collapsed bridge, which I think also adds to um, the aesthetics of the camp. It looks like we strategically destroyed one bridge, left the other one open as the main entrance, and to also make it easier to fortify. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at all the different tents that I put together. There's three in total, and I'll show you how those came out. So this is the barracks tent, and we have our beds. We've got a little bit of reading uh, with our comic book stand. We've got our kitchen and uh, washroom. And we've also got our lockers and we got a little bit of uh, crafting out here on the side. This is the, um, the commander's tent. We got our communication set up. I did glitch the Raider Punk uh, ally table into that desk. Um, otherwise, that one's pretty, pretty straightforward. And this one is my favorite of all the tents. This is the medical tent. Um, got a little bit of junk and stuff cluttered over on the side. And um, our Raider Punk, doesn't he do a really good uh, impression of Sergeant Slaughter? I think so. And uh, I really like the way this one turned out. Again, all these tents are set up pretty simply. Uh, and I, I barely, I only used like half of my camp budget. And most of that was from putting things on the displays. Uh, so this is the bunker. And I really like this. This is from the Atomic Shop. It does have a few problems. The door sound continues going even after the door is completely open. And things look like they're floating on the floor. Otherwise, I think this is a really nice addition to uh, the things we can put in our camp. Alright guys, that's the camp for this week. I really hope you liked it. Uh, the point was to kind of show you some stuff you could do, uh, keeping things simple. You don't always have to go overboard with a bunch of glitches and just uh, building a whole bunch of buildings. But let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.